Welcome. Today we're taking a look at Shad PS4, a remarkable open-source emulator aiming to bring PlayStation 4 games to PC. As a work in progress, Shad PS4 shows incredible potential. It's written in C++ and can already get many games in-game, which is a major milestone. However, its performance varies, with some games running flawlessly and others facing bugs or specific hardware issues. In this video, we'll showcase 15 games running on two high-end PC setups. The first features an Intel Core i5-13500 CPU and an RTX 3060 T GPU, while the second runs on an AMD Ryzen 9 7900X 3D CPU with an RTX 4070 GPU. Let's dive in and see the amazing progress this emulator has made. A showcase of the stunning open-world action of infamous Second Son. Developed by Sucker Punch, this game lets you explore Seattle as a super-powered conduit. Even with a film grain shader skipped and a reshade filter for a brighter image, the emulator successfully gets you into the action. Keep in mind, Shad PS4 is a work-in-progress emulator, and the ability to get in-game is a huge milestone for its development on PC. The race is on with Drive Club, a game known for its incredible graphics and dynamic weather. Despite being a demanding title, the emulator is achieving a near-perfect 30 to 35 FPS. This performance is a testament to the developer's hard work in optimizing the emulator by disabling some direct memory access and adjusting readback settings. The specific configuration used here, direct memory access equals false and readbacks equals true, is often crucial for improving compatibility and performance in Shad PS4. Experience the chaotic action of Alienation, a top-down twin-stick shooter from Housemark. The emulator handles the intense on-screen chaos with a few tweaks, skipping one problematic shader to maintain a nearly playable 30 FPS. This is a common practice in early emulation, skipping problematic shaders to allow the game to run, even if it means minor graphical inaccuracies. Next, we see Infamous, First Light, a standalone prequel to Second Sun. It's running with specific shader adjustments to reduce aliasing. This shows the emulator's flexibility, as it runs smoothly in-game by adjusting the direct memory access and readback settings. The config.toml file is where users can fine-tune these settings, making it a powerful tool for compatibility on a per-game basis. The cinematic world of The Order, 1886, is next. While this game currently only runs on AMD GPUs due to a device lost error on NVIDIA cards, the progress is still remarkable. This issue, where the emulator loses communication with the GPU, is a significant technical challenge and a clear example of why some games currently perform better on one brand of graphics card over another with Shad PS4. A beloved, emotional journey with The Last Guardian. This specific footage comes from version 1.0.3, as newer builds can cause frequent crashes. This is a great example of how emulator development can be non-linear. Sometimes, older builds might be more stable for specific games, highlighting the continuous and complex nature of the project. Knack a platformer often seen as a flagship PS4 title, is running here on AMD integrated graphics. Just like The Order, 1886, NVIDIA users are facing device loss issues, but the fact that it enters in-game at all is a great sign for future compatibility. This shows that Shad PS4, a C++-based emulator, is already capable of running on lower-end hardware, a good sign for future optimization. Fan favorite Bloodborne shows off fantastic performance. Thanks to a few patches like the 60 FPS mod and fixes for graphical bugs, 
this from software masterpiece is running at a smooth 60 frames per second, proving that the emulator can handle some of the most demanding titles. The use of user-made patches is a key part of the modern emulation community, allowing players to fix bugs and enhance performance long before the core emulator is fully optimized. Kratos returns in God of War 3 Remastered. The emulator delivers a good 40 to 50 FPS, though you may still notice some graphical and audio glitches, even with the latest NVIDIA drivers. It's important to note that while some games might run well, specific GPU driver versions can have a significant impact on performance and stability, a known quirk in PC emulation. This action RPG is based on a classic manga and is running almost perfectly, reaching a solid 60 FPS with no major graphical or sound bugs. This high level of performance and lack of bugs for a specific title often indicates that the game's engine or API calls are more compatible with the emulator's current design, making it a perfect showcase title. The Wild West journey of Red Dead Redemption is a smooth one on this emulator. This classic is now running with good, stable FPS and no major graphical or sound issues, showing the emulator's growing compatibility with older titles. While the PS4's hardware is complex, the fact that Shad PS4 can handle a game of this scale with good stability is a great achievement. A massive crossover fighting game, JSTAR's Victory VS, is a nearly perfect experience on the emulator. With stable FPS and good sound quality, it demonstrates that the emulator is excelling with this type of game genre. For titles with simpler 3D models and less complex shaders, Shad PS4 often delivers very playable experiences early in its development. Fly Through the World of Gravity Rush Remastered. The game has good FPS and perfect sound, with no graphical bugs so far. It's a great sign of the emulator's capability with unique art styles and fluid gameplay. Perfect sound is a huge achievement in emulation, as audio is often one of the last things to be fully optimized due to timing and sync complexities. This anime-based 3D brawler is performing well, with an almost good and stable FPS. There are no notable graphical or sound bugs, making this an enjoyable experience for fans of the series. The fact that it runs this well without any special configurations highlights the general improvements being made to the core Shad PS4 code, benefiting many games at once. Finally, the legendary PT, playable teaser. The emulator handles this infamous horror game with good performance, though some graphical bugs remain. The audio is solid, maintaining the eerie atmosphere that made the teaser so famous. This is a testament to the emulator's ability to run even obscure and highly demanding titles, a sign of a strong foundation for future development. As you can see, the progress of Shad PS4 is truly remarkable. While it's not yet a plug-and-play solution like emulators for older consoles, its ability to run these demanding PS4 titles is a huge step forward. Remember, emulation requires powerful hardware, and your experience may vary. We strongly recommend that you own the games and console from which you get your files. This is not only for legal reasons but also to support the developers and the amazing games they create. The future of PlayStation 4 emulation looks very bright, thanks to dedicated open source projects like Shad PS4. We can't wait to see how it evolves. If you enjoyed this deep dive, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to Kingshoot for more content. Thanks for watching.